Hi, good morning. Don with Sterling May. This morning we're going to talk about Green Mountain Grills. Like and subscribe. And I don't know about the rest of you all out there, but I was terrible at barbecuing until I got my Green Mountain Pellet Grill. These are practically foolproof. The nice feature on these things is if you uh, have to cook something at 350, bring the temperature up to 350, it stays and maintains the 350 for the duration of the cook. And what I have right here in front of me is what I call the tailgater. And technically, it's the Trek. And the nice feature is that it's the new Trek. It's the 2.0 Prime, which has features that the previous ones did not. Um, it's pretty much portable. It's great for tailgating at, par at, at games, parties. Take it wherever you want. Personally, I prefer to use the Naughty Wood pellets. The difference between Naughty Wood and a lot of the other blends that are out there, is this is 100%. This particular one happens to be plum and almond blend, but it's 100% plum and almond. There's no filler or anything else in there. I have the best luck with the Naughty Wood. Next, we have the Bledge Prime 2.0. I'm really excited at the improvements they made on this one. Uh, they've added a light inside. It's rotisserie enabled. They added a window on the pellet box so you don't have to open it to see where your pellet level is. Um, they've added a window on the top for during your cook. You don't have to raise the lid to check your whatever it is you're cooking. Um, there's uh, other features they've added. You can add a bar in the back. You can add warming trays. Um, Everything they've done has made it more user friendly. Uh, this is Wi-Fi enabled. So if you're like me, you can start it from your easy chair. You set the temperature, what you want it to go up to. You get notified when it gets up to that temperature and it's time to throw your meat on. So Green Mountain's biggest grill is the one next to me here. It's the uh, Peak and it's the Prime 2.0, which has all the, the bells and whistles that the uh, ledge has. Um, here's a good example of the warming trays you can add on there. You have to put the bar in the back, which the warming tray is attached to. It has all the features that the ledge does. Um, the, again, the, the, the window on the pellet box, the window on the lid. Um, they've added uh, the storage down below, this tray that collapses if you want it, if, you, if it's room permitting. If you, uh, it also is Wi-Fi enabled, which is a great feature. So one of the neat features of the Green Mountain is you can get lots of accessories. In my hand I have here rotisserie accessory that fits the, uh, the ledge or the uh, peak. Um, the difference is the, the peak one's a little longer because of the size of the, uh, the oven. Another nice feature of the Prime 2.0 is that you can add a side burner, which is radiant heat, heats up fast, it's got an electronic ignition, and uh, it's great for warming up your beans or whatever side dish you have with your meat. This is my favorite accessory that fits all the Prime 2.0 grills, and it's the pizza oven. The nice thing about a pizza oven is you can make your own wood-fired pizzas in your Green Mountain Grill. This particular one I have here fits the little Trek, but they make a bigger model for either the ledge or the peak. Another nice feature is we have this warming rack. It, it uh, is sized to fit all three of our grills. And we also have this rib rack, which allows you to do more ribs versus uh, having them lay flat on the grill. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, or if you'd like to see another video, leave a comment down below.